Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormworks video. In this video we are back with part 2 of the Advanced Lua Radar. Now if you haven't already definitely go check out part 1 where I showed you guys how to build a full radar that can go and detect multiple targets. Now in this video we're going to add some more features to this. We're going to add an option to actually increase our range because in the last video we set this to a maximum of 100 meters. So we're going to add that feature on. We're also going to add a feature to actually turn the radar on and off depending on when we want it and when we don't, because it does use quite a lot of battery. As you can see here, we've been running it for a few seconds and already at 80% of this small battery. We're going to be adding a few more features like a shadow line at the end of the radar uh, line over there. And we can also add, maybe add some additional circles on our screen and maybe some text. So with that said, let's go straight into it and let's get started. So the first thing I want to do is have some way to increase and decrease the distance at what my radar is actually going. Now for that, I'm actually going to be using a composite panel. Now you could use two push buttons for this. It's completely up to you. I prefer comp composite panels or instrument panels because they really are nice and small. So the first thing I'm going to add on here is I'm actually going to just remove two buttons that I don't want. And I'm also going to add two arrows. So arrow there and an arrow in number four, two arrows. The first one's going to be up and this is going to be to increase the range up push channel one the second one is going to be to decrease the range okay and this is going to go down it's going to be push and it's going to be on channel number two okay so increase and decrease now what we want to do is first we need to get some electricity to this panel and secondly we need to get the composite from it into our mic controller so let's go into our mic controller let's edit it and let's add a composite in so design, add a node, and we're going to do composite input. Nice. Let's go into our logic. There's our composite input just over there. Okay. Make sure that we go and connect the composite from there. And now we can actually go and do the logic part of this. Cool. So remember, we've got channel one and channel two. So we need to read this composite. So to read it, we're going to use a composite read. And we're going to read an on off. So there we go. Channel one, channel two, cool. We're gonna say that every time that's pressed, I only want you to send one pulse through, okay? So you could do a toggle to push just to make sure it only ever sends one signal through and not like five, once you click it once, it sends like five through quickly. So you add a simple toggle to push inside here. The next thing we're going to use is we're going to use an up and down arrow, or up and down counter, sorry. Up and down counter in here. This will allow us to go and say, hey, the minimum distance is, let's say, 100, and the maximum distance is, let's say, 5,000. We're going to clamp it, and we're going to say, every single time someone presses the up and down button, I want you to either go up 100 meters or down 100 meters. Okay, cool. What would you like the starting value to be? Oh, let's start it at 100 meters. Happy days. Okay. So every single time someone presses the up or one, okay, it's going to go up. Every single time presses two, it's going to decrease it, okay, which is down. Cool. Well, now we need to read that number inside of our actual Lua script. Because remember earlier, I defined in video number one, I defined my max distance as 100. So I need to go and add that new distance in. So I'm going to go and increase this composite right to two channels. And I'm now going to say my distance is number two into my Lua script. And I need to read channel two. So come under here and say that my max distance, which is this thing here, I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna put it down here now. I'm gonna say my max distance is actually going to be input get number number two. Okay, Oop, there we go. So now it's gonna scale it every single time. Should be quite cool. Now, I do want to have a little dial on my screen or on my composite panel telling me what my current distance is. So I know, how do I do that? Well, I need to send a composite signal out. So once again, I'm gonna to go to my design and I'm gonna add a composite out here. Okay? That's gonna to go to my panel. Once I've got that, I now need to go and take this distance and convert it back into composite. So to do that, all I need to go and do is I need to go and write. So we're going to go and add a write number Add it over there, and we're going to write on, let's say, channel two. Okay, uh, so there and start channel two. Cool. 
and we're going to art there. Once we've got that, we can update it. Go and get the composite art and add that there. Go onto our composite panel. Let's go and add a dial. Uh, dial, let's say this is our distance. And let's say it goes from zero to what, 5,000. And it's going to be channel two. Okay, dial, channel two, nice and easy. Cool, so now we should be able to scale our distance depending and it should also scale the targets on my screen. So you can see currently we're at 100 meters and you can see where the targets currently are on my screen. If I go and increase the distance to 200, those targets should be really close to me now. Look how close they are. And I can obviously scale up and up and up and up and up. And they should all be right at the center because we're now at 700 meters. Okay, so you can play with this, completely up to you, okay? We've set the minimum as 100, okay, which I, I think I like 100 for working in this hangar. Once again, completely up to you, okay? So let's add some more features onto this. We also want a way to, of course, turn this radar either on or off. Now we can do that using a couple different things. We're going to use a relay, okay? A relay is what stops or sends electricity through. Add add one of those on. We're also going to get something to tell the system to either send electricity to my radar or not send electricity to my radar and also my screen why not let's do the screen too okay so we need something to tell that okay what are we going to use well we can use the composite panel again okay so composite panel let's go to instrument number three let's add a flip switch and let's call this on off and we're going to use channel number three okay channel number three go into our my controller editor we actually need to increase the size of our microcontroller because I've run out of space. I'm going to increase the size, add a new piece on, and let's call this on off, and that's going to be out. On off, and that's going to be out. Now we can go into our logic, and I can go and read number three from my composite panel, channel number three. Done. And that's going to go onto my on off. Okay, just over there. However, I also want to send it to my Lua script because I don't want the stuff to rotate while my radar is not on. So I'm now going to go and write to channel number two over here. And I'm going to use my on off for that. Okay, just over there. And now I'm going to go into my Lua script and I'm going to read that. So first things first, let's go and read uh, bool number two. So this here, copy and paste it. And let's say this is on Okay, there we go. on is number two. Okay, and what we're going to say pretty much is we're going to say that, hey, listen, if on, okay, if not off, if on, then you can do all of this. If it's not, then you can't. Okay, there is no else. <laughs> else is nothing. So it's checking first to see if the on is on, switch is on, and then it can do all this, which is rotation, points on target, all that kind of stuff. If not, can't do any of that, okay? Which is quite useful. Cool, uh, let's go and check the errors and let's go and see if we can turn this on and off. Okay. Double check it, make sure we've got any composite connected that we haven't already. On off, there we go to the relay, happy days, electricity, done, okay, cool. So now that screen and that radar should be off. Okay, that's definitely off, what about this? Definitely off. We flip it, go and flip it, da 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 should start rotating from the top. Ah, there we go. Rotating from the top and it's finding its targets. Okay, what else can we go and do? Well, there's a few more things that we could do and I think we're going to do one more thing today. That one more thing that we're going to do is we're going to go and add some shadows on the lines of our radar. At the moment, it's a single line that moves around. Let's add some shadow, shadow details to this. So to do that, back into the workbench and back into our Lua logic, okay? So we're going to go inside here and we're now going to go into our Lua. So what we're going to go and do is we're going to go and draw some triangles in theory. We can add a bunch more lines. We can do triangles. It's up to you. I'm going to go and actually do some more. Uh, I'm going to do some triangles. So we're going to need, uh, let's do, we're going to need X. Let's do X10, Y10, and let's do X11 and Y11. Okay, that will give me a couple more points on my screen to work with. I'm simply just going to go and copy and paste the stuff I already have, okay? So from up here, exactly the same stuff that we had before. Copy it, Oop. over there, copy it, just over there. 
and repeat the same thing for x11 and x uh, y11 sorry so just repeat that in okay so this is the new stuff that we've just gone and added in now that's just repeating what we had already for our first line so what we're going to do is we're now going to bring this line a little bit further back to find a point just before and when the second one for x11 we're going to do the same thing okay so to do that we can go and find some numbers let's say we want to go back by 15 degrees so 15 degrees times by math dot pi divided by 180 will give you a number for my example let's use what 1.48273 Three, three, five. Okay, you guys can go and use a calculator and figure that out. Okay, to go and find the radians of what 15 degrees is. Okay, I want to go another 15 degrees back. So let's use what 1.39345465467. Uh, okay, once again, that's another 15 degrees. Calculate in radians and you'll get to that amount. Okay. So that's given us uh, two new points that we can go and use. So now what I'm going to go and do is I'm going to draw some more things on my screen. So you remember from earlier, we have our line over here. I'm actually going to go and grab my color, which is currently at the moment green. I'm going to add two of those colors. Sorry. And paste that and paste that. However, I'm going to add some transparency onto that. Now you don't have to use transparency. You could uh, actually just get the color down so you can make it like 150 and you can make this 50 if you want okay that could also work and what we're going to do now is we're going to draw a triangle filled okay so triangle filled there we go grab this one and we're going to paste two of them in one there and one there we're going to say that the triangle always starts at the beginning of our screen which is w divided by 2 w divided by 2 height divided by 2 and height divided by 2 and we're going to tell the first triangle to go to x1 and y1 and also go to x10 and y10. The second one is going to also start at the center of the screen and go to x10 and x11, okay? And y11. So that way it's drawing a triangle from where our line is up 15 degrees and then back to the center and then again 15 degrees up and back down to the center and you'll see how that looks in a few seconds guys let's go and check for the errors update that spawn it in confirm it jump over to our creation and let's go and have a look turn it on and now you can see we've got these lines afterwards now you can play around with how many of these you want also the occupancy or the strength of it as you can see mine is quite strong so i probably want to reduce that Listen, it's up to you on how you want to work with that. We could repeat that for 60 degrees and we could actually even do it using some tables and some math and stuff. I don't really worry too much about that stuff, but I said completely up to you guys. So guys, that's pretty much about it. Um, what else can we add? Oh, one last thing, which I think would be really cool to add onto this would be to have a buzzer. So a little noise indication if we ever get a target. So you could do that in a couple different ways. You could just take a buzzer from our, from here, buzzer in, get some electricity on it, and then connect it over to the target found on the radar. So that would be the easiest way to do it. Uh, or you could use the mic controller to do that for you. So you could go and read it from the Lua. Uh, it's, once again, it's up to you on which way you want to do it. If you were possibly adding on a, telling, a way to not detect something in short range. So let's say if we wanted our radar to ignore every single target within 100 meters and only detect things after 100 meters, then you would have to get the target from the mic controller and not from the radar because the radar would still find things in 100 meters. Okay, so that's just one thing. You can also click on this, play with the sounds. And then once we spawn this in and it goes and finds the targets, uh, we should be able to play that and we should hear the things coming out of it, which is pretty cool. So guys, that's going to be it for this video and part two of the advanced Lua radar. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. If you want to convert this into a sonar, exactly the same thing. Just change the colors, flip the radar, put it underneath. Uh, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Obviously it does take quite a lot to make these videos and get everything ready for you guys. 
hopefully you have enjoyed it if you have smash the like button hit the subscribe button uh, and if you want to see more videos like this let me know in the comments below until the next one we will see you then